What's up? What's up? So, Dagon is sending you to Neverwinter, eh? I can't say I approve. If it were a militia matter, I wouldn't send you alone. But I don't have any right to tell him how to raise his child. Can you at least tell me why you're going? Your father wouldn't tell me a thing.
You know what they were looking for? They tore apart half the houses in town. What is it? You're less cryptic than your father. But not by much. It won't be easy reaching Neverwinter. I've traveled that way once or twice. It's a dangerous journey, especially for one traveling alone. You might want to ask around the village. If you're going to leave, some folks might be able to offer some help. The road is as wild as a road can get and still be called a road. And that was before the patrols stopped coming. There's only the one road in the mare, and that leads to us. There's a small inn on the way. Makes most of his trade off adventurers and the like. Galen, you remember him? The merchant? Well, he says the road is even worse than before. Lizardlings and other creatures have been sighted, and in large numbers. He's about the only merchant that comes our way. Does it once or twice a year, and thank Joaquin he does. We don't have a blacksmith, so he sells us what we can't make ourselves. With the way he loves to stop and chat, I wouldn't be surprised if you caught up with him. Your guess is as good as mine. All I can say is I wish they'd start up again. Might have prevented the attack on us, or at least given us some warning. Well, you already know about that war they had against Luskin a while back. Nasty business that was. Lost too many Grey Cloaks in that campaign from what I hear. The whole city was burned to the ground. Every last house. And that it was. If you go there now, you wouldn't recognize it. It was rebuilt in just over a year. By gnomes, I hear. And the war killed many men. The Watch just doesn't have the numbers they used to. One of the Watch's marshals, though, is a harborman, like you and I. You remember Cormac, right? He sometimes makes his way here. Lizardlings you already know. Although, the ones around here are the weakest of their lot. So if you see others, expect a tough fight. Oh, the Swamp Beetles and other critters have been more active, too. Adar said he saw a whole nest of them not two moons back, scuttling around the mare. And lastly, stick to the road. I hear there are spiders walking dead and worse off the road. Your guess is as good as mine. All I can say is I wish they'd start up again. Might have prevented the attack on us, or at least given us some warning. Of course. Like what? So... You want to hear a story? <laughs> Look out for the Swamp Elf. You see, an elf never stops growing. And usually, they head to Evermeet before they get much bigger than human-sized. But one of the eldest lives in our own swamp. Huge he is, tall as a tree. It's the truth, I say. This giant elf has been known to hurl rocks great distances, and it has the evil eye. If it ever locks eyes on you... It turns you into a stone. Not stone, but a stone. Just look around the swamp, and you'll see hundreds of its victims. And just by looking at them, you can't tell if it's just an ordinary rock, or whether it used to be a man. If you listen quietly, late at night, you can even hear them. Just don't look him in the eyes. 